Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 79. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about another new feature in the XAR Web Designer MX Premium version 8 software. And the new feature I'm going to be talking about is the ability to have your navigation menu bar match what you have in terms of your order of your pages and your page and layer gallery. So basically what's going to happen is the order of your pages and your page and layer gallery will determine the order of your of your uh, navigation menu bar in your workspace. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your designs gallery, lock that panel, go to page and elements folder, and then go to navigation bars folder. And you can drag in any uh, navigation menu bar that you want to in your workspace. And let's go ahead and close that, that uh, gallery out. And then go to your page and layer gallery and go ahead and lock that panel. And we're going to add a total of three new pages. So Click the new page button three times and you can give these pages whatever name you want to if you want to follow exactly along with me you can give it the same name uh, for page two i'm going to name it products for page three i'm going to name it services and then i'm going to close that layer gallery thing out i didn't mean to open up the layers there uh, for page four i'm going to Go ahead and name it about us. So name page two products, page three services, and page four about us if you want to follow exactly along with me. And once you do that, go ahead and double left click on your navigation menu bar and it brings up your navigation bar properties. And under the settings section, go ahead and check the box that says site navigation bar automatically links to all pages and appears on all pages of the site. And you'll see that it changes our navigation menu bar um, to match the text that we gave to our pages in the page and layer gallery. And the reason I checked that is because it's going to make this tutorial a little bit more efficient. And keep in mind when you check that box, um, I'm assuming that you're not going to have any sub menus for your for your um, your navigation menu bars because otherwise, uh, if you keep that option checked, it can make things a little bit more difficult. And if you've seen my previous tutorial, you'll know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And let's go ahead and move this first tab that's about us. Let's say we want to move it right after the home page tab. So let's go to our page and layer gallery and move this about us to the position right after the home page. And you'll see that when we change that position in our page and layer gallery, it made it go to right after the home home page tab in our navigation menu bar. Let's say that we wanted to, uh, you know, we probably would not do this in the real world situation, but let's say for some odd reason, we want the home page to be the last tab right after services. So let's go to our uh, page and layer gallery and move the home page right after the services tab. And now you can have the home page right after the services tab. But let's say that we made a mistake and we put services and home at the end, but we wanted that at the beginning. Well, what we could do is we could actually grab both of these buttons and move them to be in the front instead of the, the end of the navigation menu bar. So let's go to our navigation, uh, I'm sorry, not navigation, let's go to our page and layer gallery and let's move the index and services page. And with the index page selected, let's go ahead and hold down the control key and now select the services page. And then drag that to be the first part of your navigation menu bar and you'll see if we drag that up the, at the top of our page and layer gallery that in our, our navigation menu bar the services and home is the first two tabs but in this case we want to move the index page to be the first page so that it reads home services about us and products so that's how you rearrange your navigation menu bar by having it synchronize itself with the page and layer gallery so it's a much more efficient method in my opinion. It allows you to see where things are at and what kind of order or structure you have um, for your navigation menu bar. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you got any questions, please feel free uh, to send me a message, embed, subscribe, share, you know, our video, that kind of thing.